Now, the rest of the story. Once upon a time, every explorer's dream was to discover the Northwest Passage, the elusive yet presumably extant water route linking the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans by way of Canada's north coast. The first serious exploration began in the late 16th century. History books say that the Northwest Passage was not discovered until the early 20th century. But the history books are wrong. The Northwest Passage had been successfully negotiated as of August 12, 1775. The triumphant vessel was the Octavius. Why were Europeans looking for a northern water route to the Far East? To enhance Far Eastern trade, of course. As early as 1553, a British association called the Muscovy Company of Merchant Adventurers was searching for a northeast passage. They got as far as the White Sea, then overland to Moscow. In the early 17th century, explorer Henry Hudson tried to sail straight over the North Pole. Although obviously unsuccessful in that attempt, he did discover whaling waters that would keep whalers happy for the next 50 years. Still, the lure of the Far East. With the late 16th century explorations of Sir Martin Frobisher as inspiration, the emphasis now shifted to a search for the Northwest Passage. Somewhere, the explorers assured themselves, there was a passable North Canadian waterway, a surefire shortcut trade route to the Pacific, and virtually every adventurer was determined to find it. History credits Roald Amundsen as first. His crossing began in 1903, was completed three years later. But another vessel beat Amundsen's by 131 years, a three-masted schooner called the Octavius. By 1762, the year she departed, explorers searching for the Northwest Passage had already suffered two centuries of disappointment. In fact, the only reason Hudson's Bay Company continued to explore was because their charter required it. The Octavius took a novel approach. While others had tried to reach the Alaskan Arctic waters from the Atlantic, she would set sail for the Atlantic from Point Barrow, Alaska. So began an unprecedented west-to-east journey, thousands of miles through a maze of North Canadian waterways, the voyage of the Octavius through the Northwest Passage. It took the schooner, her captain, her crew, 13 years... But August 1775, they reached the coast of Greenland, and guess what? No one aboard the Octavius, not even her captain, had charted the passage. So although they had proved the existence of a northwest water route to the Far East, thereby inspiring generations of explorers to begin the search anew, the Octavius, the vessel that might have solved the world's most frustrating navigatory dilemma, refused to impart her secret. You see, the last entry in the captain's log, dated November 11, 1762, relates that the Octavius was ice-bound, and that the shipboard fires were going out, and that everyone aboard would soon freeze to death, and... and they did... So with the melting ice was the Northwest Passage sailed 13 years from Point Barrow to the Greenland coast by a drifting ghost ship bearing the perfectly preserved bodies of her captain and crew. Now, you know the rest of the story.